Okay, so I figured I'd make a quick video on how to install the Starwind mod for the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. So you're going to need three things for this. You're going to need the Game of the Year version of the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind, which you can buy from Steam. As you can see, this is my version here. That's probably the way I would recommend doing this. I've never tried this with the actual disc version of Morrowind, but Steam is usually the way to go. And we're going to be installing this mod on Linux Kubuntu. So if you want to install this on Windows, the process is actually pretty much the same. What I can do is actually link a, a video made by a different YouTube creator that actually did a really good job. That's actually how I got this installed. I actually pretty much followed what he did on Windows for Linux. So once you have the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind Game of the Year edition bought on the Linux version of Steam, you're going to need the mod itself, and you're going to download that from Nexus Mods. So what usually I do is go to Firefox and I just search for Starwind Morrowind mod, and it's going to be this Starwind V3 right here. It's going to take you to nexusmods.com. You're going to need a free account from Nexus Mods. It's pretty simple. It takes two minutes to sign up for it. You just have to go up here and register, put in your email address, password, and create your account. So once you have that created, you can come over here to the Files tab. You're going to click there. And the manual download, just click there. Follow the download instructions. It's going to be a zipped file. So once you've downloaded that, you're going to come over here to your downloads folder and this is right here what you installed I actually saw they had a newer version mine is 3.03 .03. they actually came out with 3.04 since I've played this so you're gonna extract this or unzip this and you're gonna get this data files folder right here so what you have to do you don't want to take this entire root data files what you need to do is select all of this And you can do this either one at a time, or I recommend just doing it all at once. So you're going to copy it. You're going to come over here to your common folder. And this is, the, this is where Linux, or where Steam, installs all of your games on Linux. And if you don't have this favorited, I'll show you right here how to get to it. So here is your root. You're going to go to home, your username. Mine is com. Yours is going to be different, of course. You're going to go to the dot steam, steam, steam apps, and that's where your common folder is. So you're going to scroll down here. You're going to find your Morrowind folder. Mine is right here. So here is the data files folder. And here is where you have to paste those few files. And what you want to do is actually override them. And it's actually, it looks slightly different in Linux than Windows. So just so I don't screw up this version, I have, I, I copied my Morrowind folder over here to my storage just so I don't screw it up and actually that's something I recommend before you go and start pasting files into this data files folder what I would do take your original Morrowind the entire folder copy it and paste it somewhere completely different just so you have a backup in case something goes wrong it doesn't screw up your standard Morrowind install so once you have that backed up what you're gonna do you're going to select your data files and those files you copied you're going to right click and you're going to paste 10 items so here's where it gets a little bit different from windows what you want to select is the write into option because of course you're overriding files so you're going to and you can actually click apply to all and then click write into and it's going to ask you it a few different times And it shouldn't take too long. What I'll actually do, I'll pause the video and pick it back up whenever this is done, just to save a little bit of time. Okay, so the files have finished copying. So what you need to do now, so there's actually one more item you will need. I'm not going to go through it since I've already made a different video on how to install OpenMW on Linux. So you're going to need that. So let's go ahead and pull it up here. OpenMW Launcher. 
Okay, so once you paste the files into your Morrowind folder, you're gonna come over here to data files. It should automatically pick all these up. And since we have the game of the year edition, we already have Tribunal Blood Moon. And what you're gonna see, these two, these are the two extra folders that are going to show up for Starwind. And what I did and what the uh, the other content creator did also was create a different content list. I called mine Starwind. I don't know if it really matters or not, but what you all you have to do is come over here to this plus sign, click here, and just call the new content list Starwind. So before you play, just make sure you have all of these checked. As you can see, mine are already checked. Make sure your content list is on Starwind, and then if you hit play, it should automatically take you directly into the game. So I'll just take you through it just the first few seconds so you can see what it looks like. The first intro looks identical to Morrowind, but once the once it starts pulling through of the you know pulling the files from the mod, it'll change and it takes you directly into the Kotor world. You can see that's of course different than the standard uh, the standard Morrowind intro screen. So other than that, that should be about it. I've been playing this game for a few hours now, and it's really fun. That's why I decided just to make a you know a video on how to install this on Linux Kubuntu. I hadn't seen anyone do it yet. So that should be about it. Thanks for watching.